In today's video, I want to continue working on the toggle switch we built on the previous video, and I want to turn it into a reusable view component. So let's get started. First off, in our code editor, we'll go to our HTML page, and we want to add our component here. So we'll call it toggle switch, and we'll put our label here. Next, we're going to cut this for now, and we'll go here at the bottom of our body and we're going to add our script with our helper method. Next, we'll go in our JavaScript folder and we'll create a new uh, view file here. So let's save it as toggle switch view. And first, we'll put in the template. And then we'll put our script. And the first thing we want to do here is import view from view. Then we'll export default that's going to be our component. So our component is going to accept uh, a prop called default checked so that we can uh, give it a default status of checked or unchecked. And the type is boolean. And by default, it's going to be false. So if it's not provided, the checkbox will not be checked. Next, we'll add the data. And it's going to return an object with a check property. And it's going to be by default this.default checked. So next we're going to add a method. So methods and on change. It's gonna be a function. It's gonna this init an event for input and the value is gonna be this dot checked. So next we'll edit our template here and we only need to change a few things. So first we're gonna add vmodel equal to checked and we're gonna add uh, an event listener here for change and it's going to trigger on change and here in our label we're going to put our slot. Next we'll open our app.js and we'll start with importing view as well. So from view and we're also going to import our toggle switch from the folder and we'll create our main view instance here. So L is going to be app and components is going to be here, just toggle switch. Next, our data is going to return an object and it's going to be checkbox, and by default, it's going to be false. Next, we go back to our HTML file, and all we need to do is add our vmodel is equal to checkbox. Next, if we go back to our browser and we open the view DevTools, we can see under the root instance we have a checkbox and set to false, but if we click here, it turns to true and false and true. So thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe.